Okay, here we go. Okay, here we, here we go. Here we go. We got a bite. We're on. All right, come on, baby. Pulling up the little baby, hopefully, hammerhead shark. Got to pull him up pretty quick. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Park around once and grab it by that cuddle pit uncle and also by the head here. The head makes a lovely little handhold. Into the tank. Hang on, baby. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Take the hook out. Let's hook right through there. There you go. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a gorgeous shark. This is great. I've come thousands, thousands of kilometers just to work with these sharks, and it's just gorgeous. All right. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Why? Why do they have a head that looks like this? Nothing else has a head that looks like this, you know? The distinct hammerhead shape that really gives it the appearance of some sort of strange organism that people are just unaccustomed to seeing. Let me just try and take the shark, flip it over. Come on, there you go. Just like that, just like that. Okay, beautiful. All right. So here you've got the shark. There's a little juvenile scalped hammerhead shark. Very young, no more than maybe a couple months old. You can still see the, uh, the umbilical wound here, just like, uh, just like a belly button on a human. The, uh, the general body plan is just like a, an adult shark. You've still got the, the very strange head shape, and uh, it's just that it's a much smaller version of the adult, and, which makes it you know, much easier to work with. You can hold a little baby hammerhead in your hand, and you certainly couldn't do that with a three meter adult shark. So you've got one eye on that side of the head, the other eye way off on the other side of the head, and you can see the nictitating membrane coming up uh, to protect it like that. And, and notice also, way out on the ends of the head, you have the nostrils here and over here. Notice also along the, the uh, surface of the head here, you can see all these little pores. These are all the electrosensory pores that the, the shark is actually using to detect um, the uh, electric fields of its prey items in the seawater.